I'm going to be in Cleveland for like the Black Lives Movement, right? And the Black Lives Matter thing that's springing up around the country, what is that about? That's about self-worth. Activists from across the country traveled to connect and share their experiences organizing for change. Our people came across oceans to be here. Uh, my name is Milo Jackson and I'm traveling here from Baltimore, Maryland. I mean, black people are being targeted. You know, we are being targeted in this country and I'm a black person and watching your people being targeted and killed and the be their killers walking away from it or just feeling that they have the right to just murder us, you know, and get away with it, like that's not okay. So right now, to me and to a lot of people, especially, I mean, obviously everyone here, this is the issue right now. Um, the most obvious concern of violence um, against our humanity through police brutality. There's evidence of that through the shooting and killing of young 12-year-old Tamir Rice, um, the shooting of Melissa Williams and Timothy Russell, 137 shots. Um, I think it's really beautiful to see so many beautiful black people um, walking around and sharing space and um, networking and bouncing ideas off of each other. My name is Albert Terry. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I'm with Socialist Alternative uh, for my branch based there, the uh, Mobile Bay Branch of Socialist Alternative. I came here by bus, uh, quite a long bus journey, uh, 30 hours all together, but it's well worth the journey. We don't have any high profile police murders uh, hitting the news in Mobile, Alabama, but you know, the suppression is there all the same, where you, know, you, see, you see stories about people getting tasered 13 times as they're being transferred between jails. Really? Uh, you, see, you, you, you see the police chief do interviews talking about how 70% of crime happens in 10% of the neighborhoods. He's justifying going through housing projects, kicking doors in. My name is Keshia. My name is Shay, and we're from the Project South organization. It's called 10 Mills for Real. And That's the campaign we're doing. Yeah. And basically, it's about the school um, SROs, which is student resource officers, giving $10 million and more to the police instead of more important stuff like technology, driver's ed, child care program for at-risk teens, and job training classes. Of us, like Cherno Biko attended to advance transgender rights within the movement. We did a lot of organizing around four trans women of color who were murdered here and their names are Cece Dove and Betty Skinner and Brittany Nicole Kidd Sturgis and Tiffany Edwards and so I must always bear witness for them. We, we are being shot down in the street, hung in jail cells, I mean we're being killed any way you look at it. Right. So if you're being killed, whether you fight back or not, what do you have to lose? And when the state sees power or the potential of power, it's either going to straight take you, incarcerate you, kill you, Sandra Bland. I think that was a political assassination. We finally see what we've been teaching these young people, know your rights and assert them. And look what happens when you know your rights and you assert them. You're then disappeared for three days and then you're found. Supposedly you committed suicide. I think that means they understand the potential of this. The framing of a party is really needed. And we've seen it in a, in a bad way. We saw the Tea Party um, take over. <laughs> But the identity, right? We know right now that we're living in a two-party system that is failing all of us, right? And to have an identity ingrained in a party, I think people want to be a part of, people understand what parties are. We will continue to be in the political forefront and that we will be a voice in our society, especially as we face a national election in 2016, um, especially as we continue to raise awareness around the presence of police brutality as indicated in the Department of Justice report. Um, we will continue to sustain this movement and um, we will continue to address those systemic issues and work collectively to dismantle those systems of oppression. The resources are drying up here. That's why you have all of this mass incarceration. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 
it's 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 not just about Black Lives Matter. It's all lives matter. It's saving the planet, and it's building a movement that's broad enough to cover the whole entire planet and address all the different needs. Program. We can do it. We're doing it. And we've been doing it since they snatched us from slavery. That's right, right. And we'll keep doing it until it's done. That's right. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Say it so our political prisoners can hear you. Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! From the Real News Network, this is Eddie Conway.